Hello everybody, this is my first tutorial for the Source Engine. Today we are showing you how to set up Face Poser for any Source game, but today we are mostly focused on Black Mesa, alright? So, I'm doing this because nobody else seems to be making, uh, understand how Face Poser works, or they don't want to share the information. I had to do a lot of research and able to get it working myself, so I don't want people having to go through that just to be able to learn how to get uh, ancient software working. So, I'm going to be showing you how to set it up instead of you having to look at 2009 YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, um, we are doing this for Black Mesa, though. So, if you want to do it for any other game, you're going to have to kind of alter your methods to get it to work. But it should be the same concept. So, here we go. So, we're going to do it pretty fast and brisk. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm not going to be going into full detail of why we're doing these methods the way they are, but I'll try my best, okay? So, we have four different chapters here, pretty much. We have getting V-Project set up, getting Face Poser set up, models uh, working, if skip, if not, if, if it is working, then skip it, okay? Face Poser API fix, and that'll be it. You'll have Face Poser ready. So, here's what you'll need. You'll need Black Mesa, have it. Uh, we'll need GCF scape black Mesa or whatever source engine game you want So we'll need G GCF scape. I will actually link in the description But you should have it already if you're doing this. It's to unpack valve pack files and um, It also has other utilities, but we need it to unpack uh, valve pack files, so we also need source SDK We also need the black Mesa models unpacked or models of your choice unpacked if this is not working, we'll get to that. Uh, and then we need Source Filmmaker. Okay, so go download that. It's free. You shouldn't have any problems. If you have any questions, contact me on my Discord or Steam linked in the description of the video. GCF Scape is included in the description as well. So let's get started. So, you want to open up Steam? Okay. You need to launch S Source SDK. It's under your tools. If you own any Source Engine games, it should be there. Um, if it isn't, then you'll have to figure out how to get a hold of Source SDK. It's usually by just getting any sort of Source Engine game. So, um, you'll see here we have current games. These are all just regular shit. We want to make sure it's set to 2009. We're going to edit game configurations here. We're going to add. We're going to call this BMS. Uh, sorry. Edit. Uh, we're going to call this... We're going to actually set up the directory. My directory for Black Mesa is under the Y drive. It will make sure you figure out exactly what drive it's under. We're going to go to Steam Library. Steam Apps. We're going to go through all this shit. We don't need to worry about it. We're going to go through Common. And we're going to do Black Mesa. Click BMS. VGY Select. Okay. Okay. Add. It's not going to show up right away. We're going to close out. Stop. Launch. It should show up. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the hammer editor using that configuration. If it loads in, then you've done your job correctly. Because that means it has finally connected your um, your links. So, it set up the V project. So, you want to open this to test to see if it's working. And also, this helps get the process started. So, we can close out of that now. We can close... We have our V project set up. Stop that. So next up, we want to get Face Poser set up, okay? So you want to go to your Black Mesa files, okay? Go to bin, and Face Poser should be around here somewhere, right here. Open it up. It should open up, no problem, okay? So next up, we actually have um, a load model here, okay? So... This is where you'll be able to determine whether your models are working or not. We click this. It should load in, okay? It should be loaded in. If it doesn't, okay? If it doesn't do that, I'm going to show you how to fix that, okay? Um, but for here, you can actually see it's loading the model. We have the female model. We have Black Mesa working in Face Poser already, okay? So, but if it's not working, like, you click this and it doesn't let you in, right? It says that it's not the right thing, okay? 
this is what you need to do. You need to basically, essentially, you need to. I know this is going to be really annoying, and I'm very sorry for it, okay? But you need to have GCF scape, okay? You need to go to BMS and go to models. And you want to right click this and extract all. And extract it to desktop. And once it's done, that's going to take a little bit, and it's a lot of data. I really do apologize, but there's no other way I have found around this, okay? No other way. But, you want to take it, and once it's done, take it and put it in here, okay? All of it. All of the models. Every last Black Mesa model, okay? You put it in there. All right? In in your BMS. Nowhere else. Just in BMS. Once that's done, you are going to want to go back to Steam, Source SDK, and you are going to want to reset game configurations, okay? Reset it, and then do it again. Now that your models are in there, we want to mount them. So we want to do add. We're going to do BMS again. And we're going to get the directory again. Okay? I know that this is tedious, but this is the only way to really get the shit working. This is an old software, and it does not want to work. Okay? It really does not want to work. So we're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps. And we're going to go all the way down to Common, Black Mesa, BMS. VGY Select, OK, OK. Close, Stop, Launch it again. And then we're going to open up Hammer again under that configuration. Should load, we're good. Close it. And then we're going to go back to Face Poser. Okay. Should be right here. Sorry. Should load in just fine. And now this time you load it. You should be able to go to Models and go to Humans just fine. No problem. Okay. It should be there. It should let you in. If ultimately it does not let you in even after that, even after that, that models folder that we placed in here, all you have to do is keep it here, okay? Keep all of this shit here, alright? And then you just want to take out whatever models that you want to do choreography for. If you want to do choreography for all of them, then take them all out. But if you, say, wanted to do choreography for G-Man, then we'll go down here, and we have our G-Man G -Man, uh, model, which is right here. Uh, actually, no. Well, there's a high model. I guess he's doing weed or something. Here it is. So we'd want to copy it and just basically paste it in here in the same game files okay so we have gman here and then what you do is you'd load model and if gman didn't show up anywhere over here you'd go back here and it'll be right here you click up right here and it'll take you back to root and your gman model will be here you should be able to load it okay but I already have a scientist uh, female here, so um, close. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, okay? Like I said, at this point, if anything breaks, anything's not working, please let me know. Okay, I can try and help you to the best of my ability. I'm not a, I am not a Valve developer, but I have gone through the bullshit the hours to get this working so let's get to the last part this is the face poser api fix okay so when you load one of these models okay 
we are going to go here. Let's load Eli, okay? It's going to load him. We have him right here, okay? So, I will be doing a face poser tutorial of how to use face poser. But, before we do that, we want to get the, f the phenome editor working, okay? So, when you first have face poser, you are going to be importing your WAV files to lip sync with them. So, let's say I, was, I wanted Eli to say something, right? I would say my voice acting line, and I would load the WAV into here, okay? Once I do that, and try to re-extract with the phenomes and the captions, it's going to tell me it can't do that. There's no speech API, and that's because the old speech API that FacePoser uses from a long time ago, back when Half-Life 2 was being developed, is no longer a thing because of Windows 10. Like, it's been gone since Windows 7, okay? We are going to show you how to fix that. And the way to fix that is you need Source Filmmaker, okay? So we're going to go to Steam. We have, we're going to type in Source. And it should be around here. Software. Source Filmmaker. We're going to right-click. Properties. Local Files. And we're going to go to game. And we're going to go to bin. And right here, there's lip sync data and phenome extractors. Okay? These are very, very important because they contain API information that actually will work. Why this was never put in any other sort of Source Engine game, I haven't got a single clue okay i haven't got a fucking clue so i apologize so what you're gonna want to do is i actually already have them right hey guys uh just a quick edit uh i want to make sure that you guys understand that you want lip sync data and phenome extractors i understand that i accidentally put motion mapper templates and lip sync data in here you don't want that you want lip sync and phenome extractors just put it straight into your bin here but you're going to want to copy them paste them in here and you want to make sure that they go in here we'll just put them in there and now next time you load face poser the api should be detected a new microsoft api it's got better lip syncing it's got everything that you're going to need, friend. So, and you'll be able to actually do choreography for Black Mesa. So, under Phenome Editor. So, it, it has the API in there. I can't show you just yet, but when I make my foot face poser tutorial on how to use it, if you don't figure it out until then, um, you'll, you'll realize that the API is fixed. So, that is it guys that is everything that is how to get face poser working thank you very much for watching this actually took a while to get working because it it was just like every time i tried doing the tutorial it didn't want to work for some reason there was something odd happening every single time that was different so if you run into issues please let me know i can try my best to help you because this shit is very finicky it's not linear it is extremely chaotic in nature so Thank you very much for watching. I will be making more tutorials. And thank you for being a part of the Source community. Because, um, I mean, it's just difficult. It is, it is extremely hard. But it is worth it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.